via quiz. What are the five types of text structure? Most people like getting presents. But many aren't sure how to write a thank you note. Here's how to get your thank you notes going. Start with dear, plus the person's name, of course. Then, say what gift this person gave you, and what you like about it. Next, tell the person how you have used the gift or how you plan to. After that, add a little bit of news about what's happening with you. End by thanking the person again and signing off. Which text structure does the text use? Sequential structure or compare contrast structure. The text uses a sequential structure to show how to write a thank you note. Order 1, start with dear and the name. Order 2, name the gift and say what you like about it. Order 3, say how you use the gift. Order 4, add some news. Order 5, say thanks again and sign off. In the text, certain words and phrases help to organize ideas in a sequential structure. Notice the word start, then, next, and end, as well as the phrase after that. Do you have trouble deciding what to wear in the morning? If so, here's an idea that could help. Before you go to bed, check the weather report. Find out if it's going to be hot or cold or rainy. Think about what you'll be doing the next day. Then lay out the clothes that you plan to wear. Now it will be fast and easy to pick out your clothes in the morning. Just put on what you laid out. Which text structure does the text use? Problem solution structure or compare contrast structure. The text uses a problem-solution structure to show a way to make it easier to decide what to wear in the morning. Problem. Trouble deciding what to wear in the morning. Solution. Lay out clothes the night before. In the text, certain words and phrases help to organize ideas in a problem-solution structure. Notice the words trouble, idea, and help as well as the phrase fast and easy. The water of the Great Salt Lake in Utah is salty. That's because salty water flows into the lake, but no water flows out. The streams going into the lake contain many minerals, or salts. The water in the lake heats up and evaporates into the air. The salts don't evaporate, so they stay in the lake. For this reason, the water that remains is salty and getting saltier. In fact, the Great Salt Lake is too salty for fish to live in. Which text structure does the text use? Cause-effect structure or compare-contrast structure? The text uses a cause-effect structure to show why the Great Salt Lake is so salty. Cause. Salt high water flows into the lake but no water flows out. Effect. The lake water is salty. Water evaporates, but salts don't evaporate. Effect. Salts stay in the lake. Salts stay in the lake. Effect. The water is getting saltier. In the text. Certain words and phrases help to organize ideas in a cause-effect structure. Notice the words because and so, as well as the phrase for this reason. In some ways, amphibians and reptiles are alike. They are both cold-blooded, meaning they can't control how hot or cold they are. But there are important differences between them. Reptile skin feels hard or bony, while amphibian skin is softer.
Also, amphibian eggs usually hatch in the water. Frogs, for instance, are amphibians that start out as swimming tadpoles. Snakes, on the other hand, are reptiles. Most reptiles spend their whole lives on land. Which text structure does the text use? Cause-effect structure or compare-contrast structure. The text uses a compare-contrast structure to show how reptiles and amphibians are alike and different. Amphibians, cold-blooded, skin is hard or bony, start their lives in the water. Example is frogs. Reptiles, cold-blooded, skin is softer, live their lives on land. Example is snakes. The pug is a kind of dog that is easy to recognize. First, you'll know it by its small size. Pugs stand only about 12 inches high. They weigh 20 pounds or less. You also can't miss the pug's flat face, loose skin, and big eyes. Most of all, this dog's curly tail will give it away. A pug's tail often curls around twice over its back. Which text structure does the text use? Cause-effect structure or descriptive structure. The text uses a descriptive structure to show what a pug looks like. Detail 1 colon pugs are small. Detail 2, pugs have flat faces, loose skin, and big eyes. Detail 3, a pug's tail curls over its back. In the text, certain words and phrases help to organize ideas in a descriptive structure. Notice the words first and also and the phrase most of all. You can also use these text structures to organize your own writing. Happy writing! Subscribe my YouTube channel for interesting videos.